Hello and welcome back to another series. This is episode number five of the hackthissite.org tutorial. This is a great place to start if you're interested in becoming a hacker or learning cybersecurity more generally. If you've not seen any of my other videos in this series, it is worth going back and starting at number one. But we're going to dive straight in here. We're going to go to basic and we're going to go straight into basic five, which is where we left off. Sam has gotten wise all the people who wrote their own forms to get the password. Rather than actually learn the password, he decided to make his email program a little more secure. All right, so let's have a look at this one. We're going to, I'm using Google Chrome. So I'm going to right click the button and click inspect. And I think basically what this is going to do here is send, this is a very simple script that has been set up here to send the password. And as you can see here, it's not been protected. So we should be able to change that. To our own password. And we should be able to then run this. Okay, and there you go. So the actual site has clarified that it has sent the password to my own email address that I've inserted there and modified the script. So this is very similar to challenge number four. Okay, so the email itself has actually come through to my inbox, but um, I think it may just be an issue with the site itself. But you can see the main point is here is that we were able to uh, basically modify uh, this script, the HTML to the website and the site has confirmed it has sent the email uh, to our own gmail account so again another lesson there in making sure that any websites that you are you know involved in um are you know protected properly um, https for sure you know using uh, encryption and making sure that it's not easy and obvious for anyone to you know check out the password reset email um like i've done on this exercise here now this could be done in a couple of different ways actually a more exciting way um, a slightly different way of doing this would be to use an external tool this is very straightforward and simple of course but we could also use something like burp suite the burp suite is a free program that is available on mac and windows and also linux distributions and you can use burp suite to intercept http um requests and https and um you know, look at the information in there as well um, so I think we'll do the video next time on the same challenge on challenge number five, but we'll use Burp Suite and we'll show you how to do that as well on there. Thanks very much for watching. If you've not subscribed, please feel free to go ahead and do that. Um, the courses and tutorials that we'll be posting to this site will be getting more and more complex as we go through. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.